I got quite a few requests for repeaters, but I was lazy to take pictures of them and show them in this video. Well, I did get a few out since I was too busy making the easiest repeater build to use ever. Hey everyone, your friendly fast talking hard to understand and always giving at least one fuck per video, Shadow Strider is here with another Dauntless build. Excuse me, Mr. Shadow Strider, but weren't we going to become more family friendly and speak slowly? Who the fuck gave my imaginary editor access to my microphone and recordings? I think we'll have to do some major changes around here and let you all feel the power of my left hook and right jab, just as the behemoths felt it when I used the most low life lazy fuck built ever. For everyone new to the channel, welcome to my epic world of music and gaming. Be sure to check the link to my Twitch down below where I stream both playing with viewers on a variety of games, as well as music composing streams where I make video game soundtracks and epic music live. You can also support me on the Dauntless and Epic Store by using my creator code. You all wanted a low life build for repeaters and I have it, it's not perfect it's not the best but it's also well very useful and can kill anything up to heroic plus behemoths in under five minutes and sometimes under four i did not use the build with maxed out gear so there's definitely more to be achieved with it i got shroud heroic scorch stone and heroic winter horn in around four to four and a half minutes which is pretty decent for a build like this which is more for having fun and knowing you have a way to survive through almost any damage you take let's take a closer look at the build shall we you will use the repeaters with a wild frenzy and conditioning cell the barrel will depend on the behemoth you're fighting use one that he has a weakness towards, although the blaze barrel is a good choice against everything excluding blaze behemoths. Full board chamber, captain's grip and searing prism are your best choices alongside the lucky magazine special. And if you find my speaking too fast, there's a link to the build down below. If you're facing a blaze behemoth, switch the searing prism to an eclipse one, this is the second best choice for the repeaters. Rezakari helmet with cunning cell, Boreas chest with iceborne cell, helium gloves with rage cell, Boreas leggings with wild frenzy cell, Drask lantern with a conduit cell. This build will give you 4 maxed out perks, conduit, iceborne, rage and wild frenzy. And 3 plus 3 perks, conditioning, cunning and molten. Even though it has less than the usual max perks per build, it still retains good damage numbers and fits in the under 5 minutes category for the kills, where chance is in the practicality and easy way to use. Conduit, Wild Frenzy and Molten will give you a nice boost to attack speed and a bit of survival capabilities against blaze behemoths like Helion. Although even if you do not have Molten, the lifesteal from the Iceborne cell will be enough to sustain you even if you're set on fire. Iceborne will make sure you have lifesteal and damage resistance to keep you alive and always ready to shoot. Do not rely on it too much however, there are attacks that even in this situation can one shot you or kill you, so after you get below 50% HP, try to evade as many attacks as possible. The build will forgive you for your lack of skill and sustain you, but it will not give you invincibility. Rage will be your only damage boosting perk, but the board chamber and searing prism are a good enough combination to accompany it. Conditioning is the best slot for the mobility category, but you can change it to whatever fits your taste. Finally, cunning is the most easy and useful cell for me and its category, and it combines well with the lucky magazine. You can go for plus 6 cunning instead of wild frenzy but i think wild frenzy is better suited for the current build and more useful and definitely gonna be give you more damage so what do you do after you have the build set up well if you're on this map uh, the sovereign of thorns go to the thorns and let them get you below 50 hp then you search for the behemoth if you're on another map start fighting the behemoth and let him hit you and get below 50 hp don't just sit there and let him hit you fight him while he hits you once that is done recharge to empower your shots pop your frenzy and blitz tonic I also bring concussive grenade because i find them the most useful be it in a solo or in a team fight and then start pummeling the behemoths. If you're solo, you can use your specials on cooldown and you do not need to worry about using your captain's grip special without empowering it. It will have the same effect in solo fights. In group fights, however, use it to empower it so that you can give your whole team the buff. For the full board chamber, however, always shoot empowered because the damage difference is very noticeable and it's gonna change the killing time substantially. Other than that, use your lantern cooldown and just pew 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 pew, pew the shit out of every behemoth that faces you. Be careful with those high damage attacks such as the white shroud swipe or Zachary's rainbow boss of dead, dead eyes quill barrage and you know their heavy hitting abilities. Do remember that you can use your full board chamber for repositioning, evading and dealing damage at the same time. It's a good skill to have with the repeater so make use of it and learn to properly use it. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys and girls, be sure to give the video a like or dislike as you see fit. Do not forget to also drop a comment down below with feedback or suggestions for future videos. If you want to see more content, remember to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon in order to get notifications. This is everything for me for this video, see you in the next one, Shadow Strider out!